Hey guys, me Adam Man here again. Right now we're looking at a faulty seatbelt receptacle on a 1991 Miata. Um, all of the Miatas from 1990 all the way to 93 up here in Canada anyway, had this style of seatbelt receptacle. And they changed it in 94 because they added uh, an extra rail on the seat for a smaller receptacle to attach to. So this is applicable for 1990 to 1993. And the problem with this one is that it doesn't always click in when you want it to. So you're gonna kind of fight with it. And sometimes it'll click in and then pop out while you're driving. So we wanna swap that out right away. Um, if you get in a jam and you can't find uh, a new one or a good used one, you can actually borrow the one from the passenger side and put it on the driver's side and it will work just fine. The only difference is it doesn't have the wire that triggers the light if you don't have your seatbelt plugged in. Um, if you use the passenger side one, that light won't come on, it'll be fine. So right now I'm gonna show you how to get it off. So put the seat forward like that. And what you'll need is a 5 8 socket or a 16 millimeter socket. So I'm gonna use the 5 8 because it's all ready to go. Um, this is the same as your spark plug socket for the car as well. So if you have a spark plug socket, you've got what you need to make this happen. So 16 millimeter or 5 8 we'll get it done. So we will loosen this off and unplug the electrical connector. So we just pull this flap of carpet down, fish out the electrical connector, unclip it, and wriggle it loose. And we'll go after the, the bolt here. So, once that's out, and I'll show you how nasty this one is. It's pretty degraded, as you can tell. So, we will put a replacement one in, which looks way nicer. This is actually a passenger side one out of a low mileage car. And as you can tell, it looks like it's not been in the sun very much and it's probably hardly been used so it's going to last a lot longer than maybe a driver's side one will so what we'll do we'll put a little bit of never seize on this bolt here and i'm going to put a little bit on this here as well this little this little post it goes to the exterior of the car so if we can put a bit of this on then it'll help to prevent corrosion and rust and stuff like that so Some on there too there we go so now that's ready to ready to reinstall so be careful not to get any of this never sees on the carpet or on your fingers because it will get everywhere and what you want to do is feed that little post through there's a hole right here i don't know if you can see it but that hole there is what this little post here goes into so you want to carefully get that lined up first and then you can get the bolt lined up with its hole and you should be able to turn it by hand with your fingers like that to start it and it's just a matter of tightening it up there we go and we won't be using the electrical connector but once that's done and then put the seat back and we'll give it a test to make sure that it's working properly. Beautiful. There you go, all fixed. I hope you liked the video. Let me know if that helps you out. If you uh, have any comments, put them in the comments section. Subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. Thanks guys.